afternoon everyone I'm on my way to York just to do some errands um, and I was standing in my garage wondering which bike to take like you do if you've got multiple bikes or like six like I have seven I don't know I've, I've lost count um, so I was contemplating the Brompton just because I haven't really ridden it far yet uh, but decided to go on the road bike but it just got me thinking like how much slower would the Brompton be to, to ride I mean it's about 24 mile round trip so how much faster would it be to uh, to take the road bike than the Brompton so I thought I'd try it out so I'm gonna time myself from uh, my house just south of York about 12 miles south of York to uh, say York Minster uh, see how long it takes uh, yeah see how comfortable it is as well which is a uh, quite a vital thing and then um, do the same weather permitting tomorrow possibly next week if the weather sucks uh, yeah, on the Brompton and see what happens. Um, so yeah, I've stopped at Neighbourne Lock, which is kind of five miles in. I'm averaging 16.9 miles an hour at the moment, which is a bit worrying for the Brompton. Uh, it's a fairly windy day. You can possibly see the trees or if my little cats, whatever they call it, dead cat, isn't um, working too well, you better hear it. Uh, but yeah, I've stopped here and I'll stop here again on the Brompton as well, just to make it fair. Alright, so I made it to the mighty York Minster in just under 52 minutes with a average speed of 14.7 miles an hour which I don't think is too bad considering all of the traffic that I got on the on the bike path and through the city there's plenty of uh, yeah, lot, lots and lots of tourists trying to uh, get in my way and get hit, get killed but that's always the same with York so I'm going to do some errands and uh, have a Red Bull uh, and bike back and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow weather permitting on the Brompton which I'm to be honest I'm not looking forward to I think I picked the right bike Alright, so I'm back at Neighbourne Lock again. It's actually two weeks later than the last video because on the Sunday I got really lazy, had a few bits to do so I didn't bother. And last weekend I just had my second Covid jab and felt like I was going to die. So <laughs> I'm back here two weeks later on the Brompton, about five and a half miles in. Uh, my average speed is actually one mile an hour slower than it was on my road bike, which is pretty predictable because it's all roads from here. Uh, but yeah, there's not a lot to report really, it's been fairly comfortable. I've been caning it a little bit because that's just in my nature. The weather's pretty good, uh, it's cloudy skies but not very much wind and it's really warm. Uh, I'm keeping out of the way of the general public because there's some sort of canal trust thing going on today. Opening locks and things, so I'll stay out of the way of that. But. Yeah, so it's about 10, 10 or so more miles to York. We'll see how we feel when we get there. It's a boat coming through, look. Lovely. So, believe it or not, I got here two minutes quicker on the Brompton. I am really not sure how. 
here I am. <laughs> So I'll just move somewhere a bit quieter because the Minster is just absolutely rammed. Everyone's in York today. So yeah, um, that was really unexpected. I don't know why that happened. I don't know what reason it was. I seem to have the same holdups on the bike track and through the city as I did on the road bike. But lo and behold, it made it here <laughs> two minutes quicker, which is nuts. Uh, yeah. So one thing I will say is it could have done with and some more gears. The three speed, it was okay. I mean, the top gear isn't quite high enough for me. So I might change the ring out for something a little bit bigger, like a 58 or something like that. Um, but to be honest, it was, it was fine unless you're going fast. So I didn't go really go any faster than I normally did, would than I did on the road bike, but still I managed to beat it here. The weather's pretty similar as well. I mean, it was a bit sunnier on the road bike, but yeah, that didn't really affect things. I got warm, but I got warm today. It's about 22 degrees today. <laughs> I'm just a little bit stumped. <laughs> it's an absolute beast, this thing. I think I could go even faster if I had the bigger chainring on. So one other thing is when you're in top gear, which is third, this rattles around a lot and that is doing my head in like I mentioned in my last video. So I need to find a way of tightening that up because that is a pain in the hole. Everything else is spot on. I think on that note, uh, I'm gonna enjoy a nice cold can of shitty energy drink and then ride back and hopefully I'll be just as quick. This is shit, by the way. Don't, don't buy this. All right then, so what have we learned from this little excursion? My road bike is 23 years old. It's still pretty light, pretty fast. It was quite an expensive bike in its time. So really it's not got any excuses there. I mean, if I was riding a 10,000 pound soulless carbon amazing dream bike, then probably would have uh, completely slaughtered the Brompton. But yeah, as it is, it should have won. I mean, the, one, one of the factors could have been that uh, it was a little bit windier, there was a little bit more traffic than I remembered on the bike paths. They do tend to get a lot of, uh, a lot of tourists and a lot of Saturday good weather riders along them. So could have got some holdups. I did stop the Stop Strava quarter of a mile early, um, but really that only makes up for about 57 seconds. So yeah, not, not much made up there. So the two minutes, I mean, it's pretty good going. If the Brompton was five minutes later arriving, then it had still been quite impressive for a little city bike. So overall, I mean, if, if you want one bike, you don't go off road, you don't go on super long journeys, you need to get a Brompton. You can even fit your little bag on it, your little, your little frame bag. So you can hold your drinks and all sorts of bits and pieces. I don't know, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's, it's a little beast, this thing. But for me, I like having the choice. I like all my tat and uh, 26 inch wheels are rad, uh, as are 700C, but not quite as rad. So one thing, one thing that does count against the Brompton is that it was 850 quid and uh, the road bike, the Cannondale, was only 95 pound, plus the cost of a couple of new gear cables and some grease, and a little bit of uh, work on the shifters, which were an absolute pain in the ass to fix. So, you know, value-wise, but this is a new bike. I mean, what would the equivalent of that cost you nowadays? A sort of mid-range uh, aluminium made in the USA. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna cost you a lot of money in it. 
And you've got to bear in mind the Brompton is a bottom of the range model as well. I mean, the, the, the other ones, the, the higher ones, you've got the titanium versions and all that. I doubt they're much quicker. They're just a bit lighter. And yeah, most of them sort of the M6 and everything like that, they will have, they've got six gears, which it probably would make them a bit quicker. I mean, maybe not quicker, maybe just a little bit easier to ride, but I didn't have any problems. All right, cool. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. Usual sort of stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.